morning, YouTube. Happy Thursday. Hey, I wanted to get on here and talk about chargebacks. You know, the last few days I've been, you know, sharing with you guys, you know, certain companies that have built a profit center when their agents get a chargeback. And this message is for you. You know, if you're a new guy or gal in the insurance business and you're starting to take on contracts with certain carriers, ask them if they prorate their chargebacks or they charge you 100%, okay? Ask them, do you prorate my chargebacks or are you charging me 100%? Or go to the, the agent manual and you'll be able to find. But let me explain it to you if you're new to the insurance industry, how this can really hurt you. And I'll give you an example. If, um, Let's say you get a 100% first year contract, okay? And you sell a $600 annualized premium plan, okay? That, that means that you're gonna get 100% of those $600 that first year, as long as that client makes that monthly premium payment for those 12 months. Now, that's what your compensation is, 100%, correct? Now, out of that 100%, when you initially wrote the application, they gave you an advance, whether it's 50%, 75%, that doesn't matter. But you were made an advance against that policy that it would pay every single month. Well, what happens if, let's say, you were getting advanced 50%, which would be six months of, of that whole year? So you get 50% of those 600, then the company writes you a check for $300. That's your advance commission check. You with me? Now imagine that client four months down the road cancels for whatever reason. What happens then? Well, if the company prorates your chargebacks, then they're gonna take into account the four months that that client made the payment. And that means the company was able to earn back four months from the money they advanced to you when you made that sale. That means they were able to collect four monthly payments, making your chargeback smaller, okay? And what happens, that's the right way to do it. Because we work so hard to write business, to keep it on the books, for, an, for a, a carrier to make a profit off your losses. And how do they make a profit? Well, some of these carriers that I'm talking about, whether they take the charge back on the back end, right, on your pay through, or they take it on the front end, you're still paying for your charges, either way. But what they're doing is this. If that client fell off the books four months into it, these carriers are not going to charge you for the, for the, the months that they didn't earn that advance back. They're charging you 100% regardless if it was earned or not earned. Think of that. So if the, the premium was earned back or not, these companies charge the agent 100%. So what that means is that if the client fell off the books four months down the road, they're charging you the $300 they originally advanced you four months ago. They're not taking the four months away from that $300 that you were advanced. And what happens? These carriers are making money off your losses. I've come across these companies and I refuse to work with them. And in fact, in the last several weeks, I've been getting calls from agency guys. I mean, that, that you know, are doing great. But guess what? They have never seen a pay through check. All the money they make is from the first time they make the sale or their override, but their monthly checks, they don't see it. And that's because if your persistency is lower, 
meaning a lot of clients are canceling off, you're not only paying 100% what they paid you, but you're also losing on all the, on all the premiums that were earned, they have no application to you and they make money. If they adjust your 1099, hey, guess what? It still hurts you because that's money that's not in your pocket. And I'm telling you, I can, I can show, share with you guys the name of these companies. I can share with you these guys that are working an agency and they have never seen a monthly check. And guess why? Simply because that profit center is outgrowing the, the chargebacks. It's just building, it's compounding on top of each other. I believe that's not fair. I believe that if a carrier makes an advance and the client falls off the books four or five months down the road, then I should only have to pay for the premiums that were not earned back to the carrier. That's fair. But if you are just starting into this and the carrier is not prorating your chargebacks, it's going to hurt you financially. You might not see it at the beginning, right off the top, but I promise several months down the road when you're asking yourself, well, where's this residual check? Where's this pay through? Well, you're gonna find out that the reason you're not getting a pay through is because you're losing 15, 20% of your clients, but then on top of that, they're charging you, making a profit. So give me a call. I would be more than happy to share with you um, exactly what that is. Um, you know, if, if you're one of those guys that, man, you're not getting a pay through every month and you got apps there and you're getting, you know, a low uh, advance, give me a call, man. I will show you what I'm talking about. So with that said, guys, let's put it down. You know, let's, let's do the best that we can. The year's almost over. And if you guys need any help with leads or selling, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help you. So you guys enjoy your day and you guys have a great weekend. Peace.